Hi, it's Maria, and welcome to day 12 of the 21 day yoga challenge. For today's practice, come to your seat and cross your legs, and then switch the legs and cross the other one over. Bring your hands to your knees, and if you like, you can join your index finger and thumb together and turn the palms up in a receiving pose. Draw your shoulders back, sit up nice and tall. For today's practice, I want you to focus on how you can support yourself. The theme is, you got your back. And no notice in ways where you are draining your own energy and where you can find more strength within. Focus on how strong you really are, even on days that you may not feel it. Bring your hands together at center, thumbs to sternum. With your next inhale, let the arms float up towards the ceiling. Reach all the way up. And as you exhale, begin to twist to the right side, right hand behind, left to the leg, and then send that right arm up and uh, bend over towards your left side stretching over your left leg, reaching and expanding. Come back up, take your right hand behind, sit up tall, inhale, deepen your twist with your exhale. With your next inhale, let the arms float back up, and as you exhale, twist to the left. Send the left arm up, bend towards your right side, towards the right leg, extending all the way into the fingertips, lifting through your left ribs. Come back, take the hand behind you, Sit up tall as you inhale and deepen the twist with your exhale, not forcing, to see what feels natural for your body and what feels good. Reach your arms up as you inhale, come to center. Take your hands to your knees. Begin to sway your body side to side, warming up your spine, warming up the muscles along your back. Bring the hands behind you, press into the fingertips, lift the sternum, let your back arch and open up through the front of your body, taking a back bend, a very slight back bend to warm up the spine even more. Continue to breathe nice and steady and as deeply as possible for you today. Come back, swing the legs around and come to table. Line up your knees under your hips. Begin to take your cat cows, inhaling and exhaling as you move, inhaling into your cow, and exhaling, hugging in into your cat. Bend your elbows slightly as you move to warm up the arms a little bit more to create more mobility in your body. Mobility is always good for you. Continue those movements, inhaling and exhaling, hugging in, and pushing against the floor with your hands, fingertips, knuckles especially with the tops of the feet, and with the shins. Come back to your center. Bring your knees and feet together, sit back on your heels, and take the hands behind you. Press into the fingertips, draw the shoulders back, and lift the sternum. Let your neck be neutral so you're not dropping it back, you're letting it extend. Then sweep the right arm forward and around and lift your hips. Take the right hand down, sweep the left arm forward and around, and lift the hips. Continue with those movements, sweeping from one side to the other and lifting your hips as you do that to stretch out your spine. To build some work here, some heat in your legs as well as you start to move them, lifting and lowering. Continue with that, moving slowly and steady. Follow your own rhythm, your own breath. Good. Let your body flow through the movements as if you were flowing through water. Come through your last one and make your way back up to table. As you come to table, tuck the toes and come into a down dog. Align yourself and begin to pedal out your feet. Bend one knee and then the other. Remember to keep your feet at hip distance and your hands at shoulder distance. Bend both knees and wave your body forward into a high plank. Lower the knees. Inhale. And as you exhale, begin to lower your hips. Keep your shoulders over your wrist as you let the back arch slightly. 
Then push it back up into your plank. And then lower your hips back towards the floor, shoulders over wrists. Lift the hips, knees stay on the ground as you come back into that diagonal plank. Lower the hips. Lift your hips. And then lower them, letting your body release forward, hips towards the earth. Inhale, lift. Exhale to lower. Inhale to lift. This time, send the hips all the way back towards your heels and stretch it out. Rock it side to side a few times. And then begin to come back to table and bring your right foot forward, bringing it right along the right thumb. Tuck the back toes. Exhale to slowly start to rise and bring your hands to your thigh. Even out your hips, not sinking. Reach the arms up towards the ceiling. Feel free to stay there or interlace the fingers. Point your index fingers up towards the sky and send the shoulders back a little bit more. You can stay there once again or you can take your arms behind you, hands to your low back. Lift your sternum and start to arch your back slightly and gently. Back of the neck stays neutral not throwing the head back, not compressing through the back of your neck. Always think of length. Bring your hands back to the floor. Step back and send the left leg forward, knee over ankle. Begin to slowly come up, hands to your thigh and tuck the back toes. Lengthen. If you like, inhale the arms up. Interlace the fingers and point your index fingers up. Inhale, stay there or exhale, take the hands behind you placing them on your low back and use that to support as you start to take a slight back bend lifting the sternum engaging and breathing into the front of your body good bring the hands back down to the floor step back and lift back up into your downward facing dog bend your knees and wave yourself forward high plank Knees to the ground, inhale, exhale, slowly lower all the way down, press the tops of the feet into the ground and walk your hands wide. Press into the fingertips, inhale, with an exhale, roll up into cobra, inhale, and exhale, lower back down with control. Press into the earth, inhale, exhale, roll up from the navel, coming into your cobra, inhale, exhale to lower back down. Press into the earth, inhale. Exhale, slowly roll yourself up from the navel. Inhale. Exhale, lower all the way down. Bring your hands alongside your ribs. Tuck your toes. Push up through a table. And then take it all the way back. Stretch it out. And make your way into your down dog. Continue with your slow, deep breath. Bend your knees, soften. Wave yourself forward, high plank. Inhale. Send the back down dog, bend your knees, roll it forward, high plank. Send the back down dog, bend your knees, bring it forward, high plank. Good. This time take the knees to the ground and sit back in child's pose. Slide the hands forward and begin to lay on your belly. Reach your arms behind you, interlace the fingers, and draw the shoulders back. Let your arms lift. Begin to lift your chest off the ground, hugging in and up, and extending all the way back, a little flowing up and down the spine with that breath. Feel the movements. Begin to extend your arms back, releasing your hands, reaching in the direction of your feet. Bend your right leg. And bring the right knee, the right foot in towards your hand. Grab onto the foot with one or both hands if possible. If not, just reach back without grabbing. If you have a hold of the foot, begin to lift the knee off the ground, stretching the quads. Release and switch sides. Grab onto the left foot. Lift the foot off the knee off the ground and press the foot into the hands. Good. Release. And Bring the hands back alongside your ribs. Slowly make your way up to table. Shake it out, sweeping your, your hips side to side a few times. Then come up on your knees. Make sure your knees and feet are at hip distance and tuck your toes under. 
Send the arms up as you inhale. With your exhale, bring your hands to center, thumbs to sternum. Inhale, lengthen. Send the hips back as if you were about to sit on your heels and reach for your heels with your hands. Bring your pelvis forward, arch your back. Inhale. Exhale, lower the heels. And come back up using your quads. Inhale the arms up. Exhale the hands to center. Lengthen with your inhale. Exhale, begin to send the hips back towards the heels. Grab onto the heels, forward with the hips. Inhale. Exhale, send the hips back towards the heels without touching. Engage your quads. Come up, inhale, arms reach. Exhale, hands to center. Inhale. Exhale, send the hips back towards the heels. Grab onto the heels. Pelvis comes forward. Inhale. Exhale, send the hips back. Engage your quads. Come up. Inhale, arms reach. Exhale, thumbs to sternum. Sit back on your heels. Take the hands behind you. Inhale. Lift the hips. Hang out there. Exhale. Send the hips back. Come all the way up. Inhale. The arms reach up. Exhale. The hands come to center. Good job. I know this one's challenging. Inhale. Exhale. Send the hips back. Grab onto the heels. Pelvis comes forward. Stay there or reach the right arm and sweep it back, extending, opening through the front body. Bring the hand back down to the floor or to your heel, I should say, and then switch sides, taking the left arm up, reaching it all the way, opening up. Good. Bring your hand back down to your heel. Send the hips back. Inhale. Come up. Send the arms up. Exhale the hands to center. All right, we're done with those. Come back to table and swing the, the hips back side to side a few times. Stretch it out. Swing your legs around and lay back. Take your hands to your knees and line up your knees over your hips to set the femurs back into the hip sockets and then bring the feet to the floor, arms alongside your body. Press into the earth as you inhale and swing the legs side to side a few times. Let your back neutralize. Then bring your knees back to center Lift the hips and reach the arms back into bridge flow. And as you exhale, lower the hips and lower the arms. Press down, inhale, let the hips and arms lift, reaching the arms back. And exhale to bring it down. Inhale, lift and reach. Exhale to lower. Follow your own breath, your own rhythm. Inhaling, lift and reach when you're ready. And exhale to bring it back down. Good. Last one. Lift and reach with your inhale and lower with your exhale. Windshield wiper your knees. And then bring your knees in towards your chest and hug it in. You can rock there side to side a few times to release through your low back. Then bring your feet back to the mat. Lift the hips. Send the hips a few inches to the left and place them down. Bring your knees in and take your knees to the right side as you let your body twist. Extend your left arm out and turn your gaze towards the left. Soften the shoulders toward the floor. Let your body relax into your twist without forcing. So the reason we lifted the hips first and moved them was so that your tailbone can line up with the rest of your spine all the way to the crown of your head and that you are in a nice long straight line, which is healthier for your back. Bring your knees back to center, place the feet on the ground, lift the hips, send them over to your right side, hug your knees in, and bring the knees to the left as you extend through the right arm and soften through your right shoulder. Turn your gaze to the right, eyes either closed or soft, whatever you prefer. 
Your elbow can be straight or bent. Let your body release into it without forcing the twist. Let it feel good for your body. Come back to center. Even out your hips so that you are back in balance. Bring your knees in and begin to circle your knees in one direction a few times. And when you're ready, circle them the other way a few times. Hug your knees in, give them a big squeeze and rock side to side, massaging your back against the floor. Take your hands to the back of your knees. Begin to rock yourself forward and back a few times until eventually you make your way up to sit. And do that a few times to massage the entire spine. And once you're at your seat, you can sit with one chin crossed in front of the other. And we come to the end of today's practice. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, you got your own back. And I will see you tomorrow for day 13.